Welcome back. Gabby Petito's family will get their day in court. A Florida judge today denied a motion from Brian Laundrie's family that would have dismissed a Petito family lawsuit. The lawsuit alleges that the Laundrie parents, Chris and Roberta, were aware that their son killed Gabby but remained silent while the Petitos were searching. But it wasn't that silence that swayed the judge. It was something their lawyer wrote. During the search, the Laundry's lawyer, Steve Bertolino, released a statement on behalf of the family that read, in part, on behalf of the Laundry family, it is our hope that the search for Miss Petito is successful and that Miss Petito is reunited with her family. The Petito say, say that line caused them to suffer because it gave them false hope that their daughter was still alive. And the judge agreed, writing that if the Petito family's allegations are true and the Laundry's did know that Brian had killed Gabby, the laundry statement was particularly callous and cruel, and it is sufficiently outrageous to state claims for intentional infliction of emotional distress. The Petitos released a statement saying that they are appreciative of the decision. Stephen Bertolino and the laundry say they are disappointed. We will have to wait a while to see how all this turns out. The jury trial is not set to begin until August of 2023. I want to bring in Dave Ehrenberg. He is the state attorney for Palm Beach County, Florida. Dave, it's always good to see you. You and I have talked about this, uh, this civil trial before. What I found so interesting um, is that it wasn't the laundry staying quiet that, that this all came down to. It was the statement by the attorney. That is what the judge said is the reason that he didn't throw this whole thing out. Did that surprise you? Yeah, good evening, Brian. It did not surprise me because you've got the First Amendment right to speak or to stay quiet. You've got the Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. But they did, did more than just stay silent. They actually affirmatively came up with a statement that gave the Petito family false hope. And it was that going out of the way to say that to the family and to the world that led the judge not only to rule for Gabby's parents, because the burden when it comes to a motion to dismiss is on the defense, and it's a high burden. You've got to show that the plaintiff, in this case, Gabby's parents, had no cause of action, even if you assume all the facts in the complaint are true. But the judge not only found that the cause of action, the complaint, could go forward, he even said that, hey, this was particularly cruel and callous and outrageous. So the judge showed you how he feels. He didn't have to go that far, but he did. Yeah, it was interesting, everything that he wrote. And I have just found it so interesting that, you know, you hire an attorney to protect you. The Laundries had this guy, Stephen Bertolino, uh, to look out for them. And now he is the reason, according to the judge, pretty much, that the suit is moving forward. It just seems so odd. Yeah, uh, well, you know, he shouldn't have made that statement. It was an unusual statement because, look, the family of, of uh, Brian Laundrie, they ghosted the Petito parents. They blocked them on social media and on text messages. So that was bad. And the judge thought their silence, their blocking was probably bad, but it wasn't enough to win a case like this, this intentional infliction of emotional distress. If that was all they did, they the Petitos would not have won, but they did more. And that statement, I always had a problem with for a bunch of reasons. Uh, first, you know, in that statement, they referred to Gabby as Miss Petito. I mean, I know this wasn't a big deal for the judge here, but come on, this yeah. is a girl who lived How in weird. their house. Yeah. Right? He, she, she lived in their house for a year. She was going to marry their son and enter their family. And yet when she's missing, they call her not by Gabby, but by Miss Petito. And yeah, I know the family of Brian Laundrie are going to say, well, that the statement could be interpreted different ways. We just said we hope the search is successful, which means maybe they find the body. But no, a reasonable person would have interpreted that as saying, hey, we hope you can find her alive, even though the Laundries apparently knew she was not alive. Okay, Dave, so now that this moves forward, what happens next? Are we going to see depositions? Are we going to see testimony? Are we going to hear from the laundries for the first time? I was thinking earlier, I've never even really heard the sound of their voice. Is all of that now going to change? A lot of that will change because you've got broad discovery rules in civil cases. And there are some exemptions. I mean, they can try to avoid answering questions during a deposition that may create criminal liability for them. They've got the Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination, but ultimately they're gonna to have to turn over documents, anything that's relevant to this matter. They're going to have to sit for a deposition. 
And so you are going to hear their voice for the first time. You're going to see evidence you probably have never seen before. And you know that prosecutors are probably paying attention because although they're not currently investigating Brian Laundrie's parents, if evidence does come out that they were an accessory after the fact. Oh, like if they, interesting. Yeah. So if they wait were, a minute, example, Pro you're saying yeah. prosecutors are paying attention. So this could this could lead to criminal charges. Is that what you're saying? Oh, it could happen because although there's no current investigation, if new evidence come comes forward that shows that not only did the laundry parents know that Gabby was dead, and not only did they know that Brian killed Gabby, but they also actively helped Brian escape, maybe buying him a plane ticket, as is alleged in the Petito family complaint. I wonder where they got that from. If wow. they can prove that, the feds or the local prosecutors would certainly be interested. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I, I didn't think it, think about it that way. Uh, that that presents a whole new level of interest with, with how this plays out. Dave Ehrenberg, thank you, uh, as always, for coming on tonight. Thank you, Brian. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.